Hi there and welcome back to another NJS instructional video. Internal combustion engines have been powering many machines throughout the years. Everything from garden tools like lawn mowers to chainsaws, all the way to vehicles small and great. Now combustion engines, in order to perform well and ensure long and reliable operation, require regular maintenance on three major things. Fuel and fuel filtration, oil and oil filtration, and air and air filtration. Now fuel and oil are well known just how important these are, but air and air filtration is not as well known and can often be neglected. So in this video we will cover the importance of engine air filtration for internal combustion engines. The primary purpose of the air filter is to filter out dust particles, airborne grit, debris and matter that is in the air before it enters the engine, intake components, for example a turbocharger and ultimately the combustion chamber. Clean air ensures better combustion and especially on new vehicles a clean mass airflow or MAF sensor operation. Now correct MAF signals ensure the ECU determines a correct fuel ratio to promote optimal performance, reduction in fuel consumption and reduce exhaust gas emissions. A faulty MAF can also cause both short and long term problems. Poor idling, poor throttle response, limp home modes, just to name a few. Now dust in the air which finds its way through the filter and eventually in the engine's combustion chamber can cause significant damage over time. Who would have thought that dust could be so harmful to an engine? Truth is dust is highly abrasive. Once this mixes with oil fumes from the crankcase, EGR gases or within the engine's intake, it can form an abrasive grinding paste. Think of it as sandpaper in a paste form and this abrasive paste can damage turbochargers, intercoolers, valves and other pre-combustion chamber components. In the combustion chamber, it can also cause wear and damage on the piston rings, cylinder walls and injectors. It also degrades engine oil, can damage precision clearances, oil galleries and so on. Now this eventually leads to high engine oil consumption as well as lower compression ratios, especially on diesel engines which rely on compression to ignite fuel and this can eventually lead to engines which no longer work and require major rebuilds. I'm sure you've heard the saying, this engine is dusted, and that is exactly what is meant by it. Another common misconception is that changing the air filter more frequently is better for the engine. However, this isn't necessarily true, and manufacturers' recommendations should always be followed here. Here's why. Air filters capture more particles when they are lightly loaded with dust. When new, air filters actually capture less dust and particles. Heavy duty air filters and engines are usually fitted with a pressure drop indicator like this, or like this. And that's a better indicator of when an air filter should be replaced. Here is an example of a medium to heavy duty air cleaner used on an industrial heavy duty engine. And as you can see we've got the air inlet which is tangential to the body. This allows the intake air to be cycled around the filter and that also provides a bit of pre-separation. And then we've got the main filter and second to that we've got the safety filter. We also have the air service indicator after the actual air filters. Now the safety filter has two functions. The first is when the main filter is either damaged or not sealing properly, it acts as a backup. And the second function is when the main filter is removed for servicing, it prevents any dust from entering into the engine. So I hope you found this video informative and it has helped you understand just how important engine air filtration actually is. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell notification icon. Thanks for watching.